Hello, this is Tic Tac, and in this video, I will show you how to create a flight plan in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, I've got the sim open here on the main menu, and the first thing I'll do is press on this world map button here, and this brings me up the whole world. So, what I'll do first is select my plane. So, here you can click on this and select the plane. You can choose anything you want. I'm going for the A320neo. So I'll select this and return to the map. So now what we'll do is uh, choose our departure airport. So I'll just type in Heathrow here and then my arrival I'll go for uh, Berlin. And I'll go here. So now I've got my two airports. So the next thing what we'll do is select the option here. So right now I've got uh, VFR selected and that's uh, visual flight rules and uh, I've got direct GPS. So that means I will go from my airport uh, to the other airport in a straight line. The next option is VOR to VOR which uh, add some waypoints to my route which are some VORs over here as you can see and then the next two options are IFR which means uh, instrument flight rules so uh, the difference between these two is fairly self-explanatory with between high and low altitude airways uh, the low ones are lower and the higher ones are higher so uh, you can use this when, for example, if I'll go from uh, Heathrow to Manchester, that's a fairly short route, and I'll, I would use low altitude airways for that, because there's not that much time to climb up to the high altitude ones. And then, for example, for this route, I'll um, use the high altitude airways because I've got enough time to climb and then descend uh, to the high altitude airways. So I'll select high altitude airways. If you're using uh, low altitude airways, it will be fairly similar. It might use some different weight points, as you can see. Uh, but I'll use the high altitude ones. If you've got a short route, then just use the uh, sh low altitude ones. So now what I'll do is select my runways, because here at Heathrow, there's a few runways to choose from. So, this video is sponsored by Incredible Maths. Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths. It has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now, let's get back to the video. To ch change the runway, uh, I can click on the end of the runway, the white spots here, and then I've got the options to select it, or I can just choose it over here. So for my um, departure, I think I'll go for uh, runway 27 left, so I'll set this as departure, and then for my arrival here, I'll um, choose maybe let's go for this one 26 left and then set is at arrival and that should be set okay so that's ready and now we will need to uh, choose our departure route over here so there's uh, departures over here and now make sure the runway number matches the runway you're actually taking off because there's different runways as well and if you click the run one runway it might do some uh, weird things, so I'd just keep an eye out. Oh yeah, and it may sometimes change your runway, or it might just totally mess it up. So just make sure you choose the correct runway. So I'll choose runway 27 left, and then I'll find a nice route that matches with my uh, f flight plan, the rest of the flight plan. So. This one goes a bit south too much. I'll check the other ones. This one's okay, but there might be a better one. Uh, not really. Oh, and here, as you can see, a nice turn. And that works. So this route I like. And then for the, the uh, arrival airports, I've got my runway here. And then 
I'll choose my approach first. So um, I'm going to do a ILS approach. So I'll choose ILS 26 left. And this will add a pink line to my airport and uh, a route over here. And then I've got a, a rival route as well, direct, it's a straight line from the last waypoint, but I might uh, choose something. So I'll just look at these things. So uh, the ILS route is the pink one, and the light green one is the arrival route. So uh, this one's okay, maybe there's a better one. What's this? This one does a weird thing over here, so I won't do this one. This one. This one's fairly okay, I'll check the last one. Yeah, I'll use the third one for this one. And that's our flight plan complete. So, now what you can also do is uh, change your uh, cruise altitude. So if you go to your nav log, you can see all your waypoints and your runways uh, selected. And you've got them all here, along with your climb and then your cruise. So, uh, if you want to change your cruise altitude, mine's flight level 390, at the moment you can just go into this box and change it. For, for example, if I want flight level 350, then I just change this, and then this will recalculate my flight levels, and as you can see, my max height is 350. If I wanted to lower it more, I can change it as well, and this will adjust my whole, whole route to uh, this flight level. And you can also amend your route if you want to. So, for example, if I would like to uh, pop in somewhere, like if I want to go to uh, maybe this place as it's um, a point that maybe I'd like to visit, I could put the add button here and then uh, this will amend my routes. And if I'd like to uh, pop into maybe the Amsterdam Central Railway Station, I could add it here as well. But for example, if I no longer want to go here, I can remove it. And now I've got some straight lines over here. Uh, now you've completed uh, your flight plan. So what you can do now is either press fly and that will load your flight plan into the game. Or you can uh, save it for the future. So for example, if you would like to use it again, Sometime then you can press the save button and then save it somewhere on your computer and then you will just press the load to load it in. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you did, please press the like button, subscribe for more videos. And if you have any ideas for what videos I could make in the future, then please put them down in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.